good? Yeah, yeah, no, you good? Why, why is it selfish? I believe people are selfish today because they don't have Christ. That's that's ultimately what it is. It's it's sin. It's sin today. Sin is pleasurable for a moment. Sin feels good for a moment. But sin just leaves you empty in the end. Sin plays you. The devil is playing many people today. People are laying down their life for foolish things. And then realizing as they open up their eyes and they stand before God and hell is their destination. What's going on fam? I gotta, I gotta hold the mic. You got a question? Okay. God is good all the time. All right. Praise God. Praise God. God is good all the time. What you what you got? You got a question? No, I ain't got no question. Let me say so. Okay, what do you what do you want to say? Yeah, what do you Okay, God is Let me say it, man. Come on, man. You wanna be selfish with the mic. You were just saying that you ain't gonna keep yourself. You just said, man, don't be selfish with the mic, man. God is love. He let me say it. God is love. God is love, man. Watch out, man. Watch out, man. No, she good, she good. God is love. God is the truth. I'm so glad that people have already deposited the truth to many people way before I got here. The scripture says that one person uh, 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 plants and another one waters, but God receives the increase. Many people today, especially in the church, sad to say, they'll say, well, what you're doing doesn't really work. But I want to tell you that when I preach the truth, or anybody for that matter that's a believer in Jesus, when they begin to preach the truth, God's word never returns void. And the Holy Spirit has come for many reasons, but the Holy Spirit has come to convict men and women of their sin. Conviction is a good thing. You're realizing that you're bad. The things that you're doing is bad and you're in need of saving. I know this isn't popular today that those that are not in a relationship with Jesus Christ and don't serve Jesus and that are still in their sin and living a lifestyle of sin, the Bible says that they are already condemned. Meaning that hell, it, hell awaits them. That the wrath of God already abides upon them but this is the good news of Jesus, is that God sent his son Jesus to die for ungodly sinners. To save and redeem people from that place of sin and death and hell. That death is a twofold meaning. Death means that there is a spiritual death, but there's also a physical death. This is why people die. That was not in God's original plan for people to die. We were made to live forever. But because Adam disobeyed God and sin entered the world, death came. Sin came. This is why all of us are going to die one day. But God, because he's so good, sent his son Jesus that even though that we're going to die physically, we people still have an opportunity to not die spiritually. You can live again. You can be born again. Spiritually, spiritually, God has to wake you up and to make you a new creation. The only difference between me and someone else on the streets of Chicago is that those that are still in their sin are out of a relationship with God. But with me, I'm in a relationship with God, not on the basis of what I did, but what his son has done for all of us. This is why people need to repent. This is why people need to believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Believe in what he's done for all of us. And not only believe, but live in that way that is pleasing unto him and only him. This is why I'm coming out with urgency to declare the gospel today. Hoping that 
there will be people that will hear the gospel, that will turn and believe in the gospel to follow his ways. I want to tell you that we're living in the last days. Time is short. Time is running out of time. Where has the time gone? I remember when I was 10. I remember when I was 15. I remember when I was 20. But where has the time gone? Life is fast. Life is nothing but a vapor that appears for a moment and is gone the next. Life is nothing but a firecracker that goes up into the sky and is gone the next. That, that, that's one of the tragedies today throughout the land as many people are living their life thinking that they're going to live forever in this life. People